Hey, and welcome to this week's Wax Pack Dad. Woo! Woo! 90 degrees in Wisconsin. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a cold weather guy. So, um, maybe I'm moving a little bit slower today. Um, especially after that 84 pack war. Woo! That was rough. Um, I did a little bit of research here um, to try to get a little bit better packs. And I've been working on it this year, of course. Um, you couldn't tell by the baseball hits that we've had this year. But I got three of these guys um, from a wrapped BCBE box. Of course, um, as trustworthy as the person that you got them from. But he had 100%, over 1,000 reviews. And the packs, I don't know. I mean, of course, they've got cello or cellophane or plastic or whatever around them. But they, they look like they haven't seen the light of day. Um, so that's cool. We're going for, you know, about seven or eight really, you know, catch cards. Of course, your rookies of Eric Davis, which I bought my first one. Woo! Um, so we've got Eric Davis. We've got Kirby Puckett. we got Clemens. we got the USA team, uh, McGuire. I'm probably missing somebody in there. Um, and then we've got second-year Mattingly, Nolan Ryan. Oh, Dwight Gooden and Dwight Gooden Record Breaker. And the Record Breaker actually goes, it has been going for more than the actual rookie card. So, you know, a number of, um, oh, Daryl Strawberry, not the second year Daryl Strawberry, but the um, draft pick Daryl Strawberry, number one overall, I think in 83. But anyway, so there's really like about seven or eight really good cards out of there. Um, I have not been lucky enough to hit any of them. Um, other than last year, I did hit the, the Gooden uh, Record Breaker card, which was awesome. For some reason, I've had good luck getting Goodens, but not a lot of luck getting anything else. So, let's get at it um, and uh, rip some cards there. And I think my table needs a vacuum here. I've got so much wax, wax residue and, and gum on it that I think it's about time take it into the cleaners but let's take a look at this pack too for all of you folks um like i said i mean you can't tell anything by the cover but color wise dang look over here if i can see any roller marks on it i think i can it looks in pretty good condition so um as always hope springs eternal we get one of those Seven or eight chase cards here. I actually don't own a Maguire. I don't own a Pocket either. I do own the Clemens. Of course, I just bought the Eric Davis. And both Goodens I own. Let's see. Eesh. Actually, not a terrible gum stain. I see a USA card at the bottom maybe that's the mcguire so we got ted power pretty nice cards a little dust on them there you can see there maybe even a ted power rookie card miguel de leon, de, de leon. terry francona barbareo barbaro Garby. Garby. Tim Flannery without the surfboard. Gary Renicky. Rob Wolfong. Oh, we got a Joe Torre. That's pretty cool. Frank LaCourt. Franklin Stubbs. A little off center there. Glenn Wilson. We got a father-son combination of Bob Skinner and Joel Skinner. That's one that I've never heard of either one. Jeez, I'm just hoping for that McGuire at the bottom. That would be so, so cool. The Raging Cajun Rod, Ron Guidry. So, I don't know how many USA cards there are. I think, like, maybe 12. Shane Mack. Well, he actually played pro ball. Oh, kind of cool. Off center though. Well, let's get to the next one. I was kidding another content creator, uh, the Pinstripe Trail Beaver, about I think he opened a couple cello packs and it seemed like he got like 
eight USA cards, but didn't get the big one. So now that's karma coming to visit me. If I believed in karma. see which one the the gum is going to destroy oh, these are stuck on there they're stuck on there but there's not a lot of gum residue which is kind of cool bobby ramos champ summers love that name champ ellen ashby would love a nolan ryan here okay dale murphy of course got a fish eye there but we'll wrap her him up in a 10 condition I think it's a couple hundred dollar card, but it's not. But it is still a nice card. Bud Black, Larry Boa, Darrell Thomas, Larry Gura, Dan Dreesen, Mike Armstrong. Oof. The glasses are strong with that guy. Charlie Moore from the Brewers. Hey, hey, all right. Look at that. Beauty. Oh, left, right, beautiful. Top down, come on. Oh, man, I can hit Dwight Goodens, I guess. So that's pretty awesome. We'll wrap him up in just a second. Steve Farr, Bill Caldiel, and Chris Spider. All right, so pretty awesome. You know, I tell you what, if that was a little bit better up down, I'd get that graded. I bet you that comes out as a PSA 8. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But still a pretty awesome card. I'm pretty excited about it. This one's tight. The wax seal on the on the front card here. Let's see if the gum's on. This guy's probably a Hall of Famer. He's got like 40 years in. Let's see who is Cardinals and Brewers. Is that Ted Simmons? Yeah, it's Ted Simmons. That's cool. I thought if I could get one decent hit out of this one, I call it call it a pretty good success there, Steve Trout. Storm Davis, Rance Mullenix, okay, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Brett Butler, pretty darn good card, or good player, I mean, lead, good leadoff guy. Terry Whitfield, oh, we got another Hall of Famer. Ted Simmons, because he's on the Brewers, sorry, Harold. Tony Pena. Hey, hey, all right. Woo! Two rookie hits. I love it. I love it. Let's take a look at that. Side to side, a little off, top to bottom, way off. Wow. Well, I guess the investment paid off on that one. Bob Baylor. We got Jeff Reardon. Hey, hey, Ricky Henderson All Star card. It's a gift that keeps on giving. And that's not quite as worth as much as his base card, but still a really nice card. And anytime you can pull a rookie, that's, I think, before 86 is a pretty good deal. So, wow, let me wrap these up, and uh, we'll get to the end of the show here. Well, that's pretty darn awesome. Um, you know, getting a couple other off-Hall of Famers like Simmons and Baines, and then uh, just kind of go through these because I haven't hit a lot of bangers lately so that is a that is a nice card four sharp sharp corners um the davis a little bit more off center four nice corners back looks good i didn't do that for the good end Woo. and then the ricky and the dale murphy they're both just kind of cool to have cards there so I'm super thrilled about this. Um, it's been a rough baseball year. 
So this is pretty cool to get, uh, you know, two of the I think 45 cards and pulling two out of the eight that I was looking for. So pretty happy about that. And uh, someone had said, hey, we want some base, uh, some baseball cards. You got plenty of that. Some football cards, um, and I'm working on it. Uh, it takes a while to kind of put together a season or at least a few months of card openings. And um, I really enjoy it. So I'm looking maybe towards the first week of August, as soon as those first preseason games go, and then start mixing in baseball, football, and then kind of towards the end of September, early October, going full football after that. So kind of like what I did last year. Um, you know, and this year I just opened I think football during the draft and um I don't know if that works if that not doesn't if I should mix more you know football baseball into the off seasons I really don't know but uh that's where I'm headed um just thank you guys all so much for being here with me on this rip and as always thanks subscribe and God bless